On the 19th of July last year, I did my first evening show here at 7pm on GB News. And I said then uh, that I felt even before the pandemic, the delivery of NHS services was beginning to worry people. No one dared say it. One of those unspoken things. Don't criticise the NHS, because if you do, somehow you're not on the side with the doctors and the nurses. But the pandemic has made the problems worse. And I think there's a day of reckoning coming. 6.1 million people now waiting for medical procedures, some of them quite serious. Other figures, perhaps even more shocking, the numbers of people who've been waiting for cancer treatment, often waiting indeed for months. And there's now a growing percentage of the population who've lost confidence in the ability of the NHS to deliver for them and their families what they've come to expect. Add to that, a growing loss of confidence in our general practitioners. And this is terrible because GPs have been one of the most trusted members of our local communities. And yet, the lack of face-to-face -face consultations, only 60% of consultations now are actually face-to-face. -face. Again, something that is worrying people. Now, Sajid Javid, the Health Secretary, has a plan to solve all of this. And our taxes will be going up from the 1st of April to help pay for some of it. But when I look at his plan, what I see are a series of targets. Frankly, it could be a kiddie's wish list to Father Christmas. I've got the sense that we're so far behind after the pandemic that actually things are probably going to get worse before they get better. So the question tonight I want to debate with you, the audience and all of my guests is how do we fix the NHS? Please send me your ideas, Farage at GB News. Dot UK. And it really is a very, very fundamental, very important question. It may well dominate, actually. I mean, I know that there's much else going on in the world, but it may well dominate family dinner conversations for years to come.